During the offseason, Jared Vanderbilt has been working hard for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's worth noting that Vando is qualified for a four-year extension worth about $75 million. Will the Lakers now make him their best offer possible? I doubt it, but it would be fantastic for the Lakers if they could find a player that fits in with the team and is happy with his salary. There have been rumors that Jared Vanderbilt has grown this summer, and we've seen some images and videos of him working out. In general, I think Vando is one of those guys who will work hard both on and off the court because of his incredible energy when he plays. He's a wonderful blue person and someone who will give these games their all, maybe even 110%. The kind of guy your squad needs particularly if you want to win a championship take a peek at a few of the previous winners. Naturally, the Denver Nuggets emerged victorious in the Western Conference Finals over the Lakers. I was Bruce Brown's glue guy. The Milwaukee Bugs and Gary Payton II were both excellent in that capacity for the Warriors, although they had a few glue people as well. Not only did they have players like Bobby Portis who could score points off the bench and really get the fans excited, but you can't undervalue the significance of winning the title. Losers, they had Caruso Alex. It was Rondo. These players held significant value, and the Lakers cannot afford to part with Jared Vanderbilt, another glue guy they were able to acquire during the previous season's trade deadline. The Lakers made a grave error in letting go of Alex Caruso, as is now evident. The same cannot be done with Vando. Really, the only thing preventing Vanderbilt from earning more playing time for the Lakers at this point is his ability to make three-pointers. That was a problem during the playoffs since he was a bit of an offensive liability. You can see what he contributes to defense, of course, and his skill set is quite intriguing. He's a man with a lot of ball-handling ability. He truly needs that corner three-point shooting, especially when he's playing with superstars like LeBron and AD. If he can shoot the corner three, that would be extremely huge, even if he can't take it down from every part of the court. LeBron and AD would be able to stretch the floor for each other, giving him more chances to get on the court overall. Therefore, I'm hoping that Jared Vanderbilt can make up for those missed opportunities in the next campaign, and that he is granted an extension to remain with the Lakers.